Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix, last time we made our way into Plum Park to find this missing teapot for the Dark Blue Inn, where we discovered it was all poisoned. And in searching for the source of the poison, we have ended up here after a nice concert with Birdo. So now, let's give it a squeeze and all our problems are sorted, right? Here we go. Squee Clabra Clabra Cause be on that top clap. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. I think I'm gonna say his English lines from now on. Sweet freedom. You shall rule the de What am I thinking? These guys can't understand me anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I can only, I'm only gonna do those for so long, it sounds disgusting. Anyway, sudden boss fight, this is PD Piranha. Yeah, get it? Petit Piranha. Anyway, boss fight, we should fight this seriously, so let's start off with some many worn hammers. Now, I believe you can jump on PC, but there is a very nice strategy you can do that I am failing to do because I forgot about it until after I select my cards because dang it I'm not great at this. Anyway let's show them. As you can see, 10 worn out hammers. They might be worn out but there's still 10 hammers. Did very little damage and I took a lot of damage. So I'm actually going to use a mushroom and a power block. Why would I use a power block? Well, you see, when I use a power block, I, I wasted the power block actually, didn't I? No, no, please. One, two, okay. Yeah, that's not what I'm meant to do. Man, it's tough to remember what I'm meant to do here. Um, well, he is weaker, so let's do a couple of big jumps. While he's crumpled, he can't do anything to me. Maybe I was meant to wait for an attack. No! I'm so dumb! No! This is what you do when you forget how boss fights work. This is basically doing it casually. Oh yeah. There we go, it's that attack. After doing this attack, he's a little bit dizzy. He's so dizzy that we're gonna knock him over and then utterly destroy him. So let me just grab any hammer card, maybe not a pal, because that crumples instead. Using any hammer though, will knock him off balance and reveal his belly button. Concentrating, yeah. Anyway, I think he takes a bit more damage to that. So we'll find out as I use up Two more big jumps, and if he dies, well, yeah, he takes more damage. One, boom, 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 yeah, and yeah, okay, definitely takes more damage. And in, oh, that's interesting, the tea bag isn't losing paint. I'm surprised I'm blocking all these attacks. Anyway, he's almost gone, so let's just finish him off with a couple of hammers. And you know what, I'm going to use a weak hammer because I haven't and I don't want it. So let's destroy him! Oh, he's not quite dead. Excellent, come on, finish him! Finish him! Yes! The excellent for the win! And there's a nice little mini boss fight. Pretty simple, don't forget to grab all the things he drops. Because it upgrades your paint hammer with the hammer scraps. 280. Yeah. Still surprisingly useful. Anyway, now that the tea bag's gone for realsies, let's give this a good squeeze. You got teapot. Used to see. Steep and pour tea at fancy tea parties.
Mini paint star! I'm sure Huey can already smell it. Okay. Looks like that teabag guy was the source of the poison. This place smells way better now. And I also smell the unmistakable scent of a paintster. Let's take a stroll through the park before we return the teapot to the inn. Sure thing, Huey. Nice little stroll. Now that the water's all run pure, the sky has cleared because that was somehow affected by the poison. And... There's a lot less shy guys. I'm not going to bother taking the bucket because it's a little bit slower, in my opinion. Anyway, I saw some shy guys over here with something to say, probably about the concert. The water here is so nice, it makes a guy want to obey the law. If you approach the drawbridge in a bucket, it'll raise automatically. Technology is something, ain't it? Yes, it is. Oh, there's still enemies. There's still enemies. Anyway, these bloopers are actually different enemies. Probably didn't expect that, but now they are just ordinary bloopers instead of the poison ones. The difference? I guess they do a little bit more damage if they're poisonous. Maybe? I don't want to use up that hop slipper. Um, let's just use this. I, can I? Wait, I want to swap that position. No. Uh, whatever. Oh! Okay, so bloopers are much weaker, it seems, when they are not poisonous. Let's... No! I wanna see... You've ruined my music! You know what, let's do a battle spin. I have a lot of coins, and I wanna see their attack properly. So let's just do a normal spin and stop it wherever. A normal jump card, let's use that. There we go, just the one card. Cause it'll kill this first one, and I really wanna see what the others do. There we go. Show me your attacks! Hold on, wait. That does the same damage. Okay, I'm not sure if poison is a status in this game, but I need to heal badly. Um... Wait, there's a fountain of healing! Maybe that will work! I'll use a, a nice flower. That will certainly kill them. Anyway, but... They seem to do the same damage, maybe their movements are just different, but I think they're weaker too. Really, there isn't much difference between poisonous and not poisonous. No notable ones, at least. Battle complete, let's not get in another battle before I die, because that would be bad. You didn't even drop health. Anyway, this here is a drawbridge, and that to the left. In order to reach it, you kind of need a bucket. And I refused to take the bucket because I forgot about that. So let's go this way instead. For you see, I have another plan. First of all, I need to heal. So I'm going to step into here. Nice 100 health. I'm pretty sure that's just straight up a full heal. The park now living up to its name. Now I'm still going to cleanse myself in this water. But I wanted to speak to these sniffers, see if they have anything different to say. They watered down this tea, something awful. All this clear water, ugh. Long word, at its worst. So, although they liked coffee, I think they liked the tea bag in the water? What a weird bunch. What a weird bunch. Also, my money count. Ha ha ha! Eight, 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 eight! Um, anyway, now those flowers opened up all over the place, and over here, we actually have our second mini paint star! Course clear! Nice! And the Roshan bow token, I'll take that, thank you very much. Now let's see where the blue takes us. I believe it's just a blue bay beach, isn't it? Yes, it is is. Nifty little shortcut, nice to have. But that doesn't really open up the way to the future. In fact, that Rochambeau temple 
seems to be on a path that we might like to go out on. So let's dive back into Plum Park. I don't quite have all the colour spots, but there was one above a flower that I'm going to pop over and grab right now. You know what? While I'm walking over here, I have to... I have to say something about this music. I really don't like it. In fact, I just generally don't like the whole... rich, like, attitudes that the sniffets have had going on and all that. This music? It suits that to a T, don't get me wrong, but I just... Ugh, I really like this normal plum park. Ah, I missed the turn off. I really like the normal plum park. Poisoned Park soundtrack. And sadly we'll never hear it again. Or that is until I paint this. Which should, hopefully I can't see, but that should be 100% of the paint marks. Which should unlock the soundtrack in the museum. Which will allow me to listen to the Poisonous Park track once again. And I'm going to steal your money once again, Toad. Ha 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 Mario is cruel. I know. But there we go, that should be all of it. Anyway, time to grab myself a bucket and make my way to that purple mini paint star. Ah, here it is. The bucket moved. Anyway, these drawbridges now rose up, allowing us to get three coins. Yay. No, but more importantly, I'm not going to bother checking if there's items on those flowers. I'll check this one, sure. Why not? There's nothing. But more importantly, I'm, you know what, I'm going to have to kill some of these bloopers just so I can get through here. <gasps> blooper card! Blooper card! Yes! Awesome, didn't expect that. Anyway, making our way through, we can now jump up here and grab the real reward, the purple mini paint star, course clear, which will allow us to make progress on our journey to find all the big paint stars. And with that, please give, please show me the flag that says I got 100%. Please, I hate it when I miss a one paint spot. And when it's on a spot like that, in Plum Park, it's annoying because it's, it's the tiny thing that I missed. Yes! I did it! Awesome. Now before I move on to see what the next level is, let's head back to Dark Blue Inn right away. As we have a little something for the guests here. The curse of time loops has been broken. However, the hotel hasn't quite been restored to its former glory. There's still some unsatisfied guests. So let's deal with them, shall we? It's still three o'clock. Might not be a time loop, but... Still creepy. So let's give them their teapot. Finally, they will be satisfied. All this talk of tea between this hotel and the park behind it. It's kind of got... Uh, kind of getting sick of it. But we, it, it's... Trust me, it's worth it. you care for some tea? And with that, the blue ba the dark blue inn has been restored. We have done it. Mr. Mario, thank you so much for resolving this bizarre conundrum. I am relieved that our six spooky customers were happy in the end. With that, our hotel will finally open its doors for business once again. Please take this as an expression of our gratitude. 
tax cards up. Definitely worth it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot to do. You're always welcome here at the Dark Blue Inn. Now, bringing the teapot very much optional, although you do have to at least grab it from Plum Park in order to restore the waters and get the mini paints there. Please, that kicked us out. That's actually really helpful, but I kind of want to know what the toads in there now say, what with the skies cleared, the colour returned, and the spooky music restored to its proper regal tones. I don't mind this one as much. Thanks to you, Mario, we were able to open our doors again. Thank you. We're completely booked, but we'll make a special exception for you, Mr. Mario. Would you like to stay the night? No thanks. Understood. Well, please come back and rest any time. I love cleaning, so uh, I, I wish you guys would try to... Oh my good... Maybe he creates the messes just for the work. Anyway, so as you can see, they are already back in business within the time span of what? What is it? 30 seconds? They've already fully booked out the inn. At least the guests haven't arrived, letting us stay a night. It should we need to. Or maybe we just sleep in the storage cupboard. But we now have access to Rochambeau Temple Number 4 and the Violet Passage. Which let's head into straight away. Because I have to admit, just wait until you see this. Mario, look, this is super serious. Whoa, part of the sea is completely colorless. This is a severe environmental issue. One even could call it a green issue. Although I guess it's more of a blue issue. Forget the sea, we've got a pirate problem. Whoa, how did you? Ne never mind, that's our boat over there. The pirates came out of nowhere. The rescue squad tried to help, but well, they're the rescue squad. They've broken through the barricade. The sea being colorless is kind of worrisome. Let's go check it out. It's just a bunch of shy guys, nothing we can't handle. Okay, here we are, get that your paint can and guardian of Prisma Fountain and all that. And the sea is pretty darn bad. But pirates! There are pirates! And I really want to go fight the pirates. Even though they're just shy guys. However, I'm gonna have to leave that until next time. Where we take care of these pirates. And maybe at least get the rescue squad into shape. Anyway, with that guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you all next time everybody. Bye bye